You have interfered with my plans for the last time, Sam and Max. Taking your soul will satisfy my dark masters once and for all. And then I will use my army of the undead to take over the world. <laughs> Damn you, Jurgen! Yep, you owe me five bucks, Sam. I never thought he'd go for the cheesy evil laugh. Insolent to the last. No matter. Oh, we shall see how you make with the wisecracks after you are dead. Well, looks like this is it, little buddy. My whole life is flashing before my eyes. I wondered where I'd left my wallet. I can't even remember how we got here. Come on, Max. Remember, we were back in the office, just back from Easter Island. Wait, wait! Do the whole thing with the music and all that. Oh, all right. Doesn't being High Priest of Easter Island and President violate the separation of church and state? Blasphemy! <laughs> oh, hang on. The holy water is giving me a religious vision. <laughs> a goat born with an HDMI port. An unwelcome visitor. Ah, the dead walk the earth. And bells, bells, bells! Hey, not bad. Hello, Commissioner. Lightning! A dog castle! Yes! A snowy egret! No, a chicken! Hey, do you mind not making so much noise? Speak up, Commissioner. I can't hear you. We're having a zombie attack. What's that, Commissioner? Zombie attacks? Jen running George A. Romero in a baby doll t-shirt outside the food court with a $43 gift certificate. We're on the case. The commissioner says zombie attacks are popping up all over the world like pus-filled boils on the decaying flesh of, well, a zombie. Wait, who's attacking? They're coming from some place called the Zombie Factory. Oh, zombies. Zombie attacks! You wander around aimlessly and see what you can turn up. Meanwhile, I'll actually figure out where they're coming from. One step ahead of you! No signal! The zombies must have taken over the TV station! No, we took our only antenna. I still blame the zombies. Fantastic! Banang! Tastes great and fun to say. Not particularly illuminating. Banang! You know what they say about guys with big feet? They have big thongs. And people said a slab of curiously shaped rock couldn't be vice president. That sock crown is about as useless as an ink ribbon in a haunted castle. Our aim, we're lucky to hit them at all. Isn't that cute, Max? The rats have set up their own little casino. Where's Jimmy Tukey? I want to show him a new sleeper hold I learned. The boss is busy. He can't be too busy for us. We're the ones who gave him his big break. Not to mention various smaller fractures and sprains. The boss is busy. So, the zombies drink beer. A clue, perhaps? Let's press on. It's closed. Bosco went into hiding when we convinced him T-H-E-M were coming.
Sybil's back in business? Take an number and I'll be with you. Oh, hi Sam and Max. I'm uh, out of applications right now, so uh, let's just be friends. Sure. What happened to Abe? I'm sure I don't know to whom you are referring. So, Mr. Molman. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, Harry. Tell me more about you. Well, let me see. Interesting <laughs> things about me. What's this? It's my ticket to relationship bliss. It's going to find my perfect soulmate, even if it has to alter the laws of space and time to do it. How come when I look at it, I hear the chanting of demons from the infernal plane? Max, when don't you hear that? Good point. What gives, Sybil? Did you start your dating service again? Not quite. All my clients are applying for dates with me. Um, as kind of officers of the law, we have to point out that that's kind of illegal. Does that mean we can shoot her to regain health points or something? What? No. Get your heads out of the gutter. It's not like that. I'm looking for my soulmate. How are you going to find your soulmate? Not by jumping in with the first reanimated statue that comes along. That's for sure. I've got the initial screening, and then rigorous interviews, and finally, the soul mater. I want it! Do you know anything about a place called the Zombie Factory? Zombies? Where? Hmm. Irrational fear of zombies. Interesting. But yes, I did get an email about something like that from some friends in Europe into the whole equal rights for the undead thing. I can't remember where exactly. Good luck finding your soulmate. This has nothing to do with luck, Sam. It's all about psychology and technology. She was the only woman I ever loved. This century, at least. Yeah, maybe you should talk about this with your therapist. She was my therapist! Oh, good. Lamont and Wallace, you're here. Sam and Max, actually. Whatever. Your friend here is driving me crazy. Take him off my hands, would you? What's with a sunlamp woman who will call stinky for the sake of convenience? So that's what that is. Oh, I mean, of course, that's what that is. Have to look my best, you know. The magazine set such an unrealistic standard of beauty for grandpa murderers. Can we have your sunlamp? What could you possibly need it for? Max needs a UV bulb for his teeth bleaching regimen. You think a smile this white comes naturally? Well, go ahead. I don't need... I mean, I'm done with it. Bye. Wanna help me carry this thing around, Max? I just want the bulb. Did you just get deja vu? Just close your eyes and it'll pass. The Phantom of the Opera. Swear Dweller? Sword Wielder! No, that would be Swirled Wielder, not Swirled Roller. What's shaking, Abraham? She's gone. Left me. Sybil's looking for a new boyfriend. Fine. I don't care. Aren't you jealous? Not at all. And hanging out near her office is not stalking. No matter what she says. You really blew it with Sybil, huh? It was just a simple misunderstanding. Like, I can't understand why you aren't as hot as that Moai head? She took that completely out of context. Do you know anything about a zombie factory? 
Do you mean like a factory that comes to life after it's been shut down, cranking out products in a hideous parody of actual production, destroying other factories it comes into contact with? No, that's not what we're looking for. But I wish we were! Keep a stiff, hairless upper lip, Abe. Always. Hiya, cops. Do you Hi know... Hi there. Are you tired of paying a lot for your internet service? What? No, not really. Well, those days are over. Welcome to a new type of internet access. S.O.L. So simple, even a zombie could use it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. What happened to Bluster Blaster? There was a... Processing... Accident while developing our latest invention. I'm fine, Sam. Haddock is the best kind of fish. I'm fine, Sam. We regret any inconvenience this may have caused. I'm fine, Sam. Thanks for asking. Can you guys fix Bluster Blaster? They had me fixed before they brought me home. Do you know anything about a place called the Zombie Factory? Processing. We have gathered extensive marketing data on zombies. Zombies need an easier, less expensive way to access the internet. That's why we developed Stuttgart Online for the greatest concentration of newly active zombies, Stuttgart, Germany. You've unlocked a new area. What'd he say that for? We do not know. He has been like this ever since the accident. Max, when I'm done yammering, remind me we gotta drive to Stuttgart. Quick like a zombie. Drive to Stuttgart. Right. Forgot it already. We just want to pimp our car. We no longer offer car upgrades. Our income has been lower than previously forecast. But this neighborhood has the highest accident rate in five states. We have spent a lot of this year out of town, Max. Oh, right. So we've devoted our resources to developing the ultimate online experience. SOL. After all this time, you're not offering any car upgrades? None at all. We regret the inconvenience. There's a new invention. It is much too dangerous. Intrigued? Go on. It's the super high-powered antenna for wireless internet access while on the road. There are problems. Using it could result in catastrophic electrical failure and spontaneous explosion of your vehicle. We see. And what are the problems? We'll take that super high-powered antenna. We spent our entire savings on development. We can only give it to you if you help us market SOL. Take the provided CD launcher and use it to give installation discs to zombies throughout the city. We like marketing. And we love shooting things. I like wearing short pants. Would you like to begin driving now? Affirmative. Initiating augmented reality driving sequence. Remember that you can now drive using a computer keyboard in addition to your mouse. I want to shoot things! Please deliver the magic of SOL to the displayed number of zombies. We'll make that big. And you must do it in the allotted time. Ready, go! We cannot be held liable for any injury or loss of life. I'm liking the sound of this more and more. Please demonstrate the operation of the antenna to our big winner. Not too late. 
I don't want to see the bright light again. Very well, you get to figure it out for yourself. Where are we headed, Sam? I want to drive around and hit a bunch of zombies with some CDs. Me too! Shanty Geek. Ready? Go! Congratulations, you've won! Would you like to keep trying for more decals? You bet. Excellent. Initiating new hyphen over sequence. Ready? Go! Would you like to keep trying for more decals? You bet. Ready? Go! <laughs> <laughs> Shady decal on you. Congratulations, you've won! Would you like to keep playing? No way. We headed, Sam. Let's go deliver some more SOL CDs to our zombie pals. Ready? Go! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Congratulations, you've won! Would you like to keep... Congratulations, you've earned every decal we have! Pretzels are salty. Just look at what we've added to your sweet, sweet ride! My self-esteem has never been higher! Where are we headed, Sam? Let's go to Stuttgart. Yavor! Well, here we are in Stuttgart. Very atmospheric. You think this is the big spooky castle the locals were wailing and stammering about? Could be. Hey, look! There's a gaggle of zombies. Politely lining up outside. Ooh, classy. Yeah, Europeans make the most refined undead. This must be the place. When they put a stone slab over your corpse, you know they really don't want you coming back. Anything good, Sam? Looks like the deadbeat Undertakers and opportunistic German rats got to him first. Brain's in decent shape, though. Something smells good. I'm proud we found a non-violent solution to our problem. Yes, ripping the brain from a freshly buried corpse was the start of a kinder, gentler Salmon Max. Welcome, creatures of the night, to the zombie factory. Oh, hello, sir, Mr. President. Agent Super Bowl! What are you doing here? The place is being overrun with zombies. Yes, ladies' night is always packed. The master is a genius at promotion. Who's in charge here? Master Jurgen, the greatest leader ever. You said the same thing about Hugh Bliss and the evil president! This is different. Master Jurgen has a castle. He does have a point. Let us end! Hmm. Very well. Have your IDs ready, please. <gasps> Do the voice! Yes, sir. Welcome, creatures of the night, to the zombie factory! Seems to be some sort of zombie discotheque. Discotheque? <laughs> Welcome to the 80s, Sam. We've been waiting for you. Do I smell no blood? <laughs> mm, you are the new DJs, I presume. We're Sam and Max. Freelance zombie hunters. Ah, yes. The bit players from the Midtown Cowboys. Bit players? We're the stars! Stars? <laughs> Please stop, you'll make me to giggle. <laughs> Ooh, look at me. I'm so edgy and subversive. Only her family is truly acquainted with the darkness. So what's your story, Emo? I am Jürgen. I am not surprised you don't know me. No one truly knows me. And this is my army of the undead. Hmm. With every soul I take, my army grows larger. <laughs> oh, I did not just reveal my master plan. Well, that was easy. Back, foul monster. We're here to put a stop to your evil scheme. Yeah, cut it out with the zombies already. Stop me. <laughs> So many others have tried. That is how you say, played, yo. Now you must excuse me, for I am a way to dance. I never knew vampires were so... fruity. Not all vampires, Max. Just the European ones. They just don't stay down. Much like Stinky's food. That doesn't do any good. It's still fun. 
bullets! As if, please! I am far too fast for any mortal to defeat me. Hmm, I guess we're going to have to take the subtle approach. That's odd. Somebody dropped a typewriter ribbon. What good is that? What we really need are healing herbs. There's a poem inscribed on this bookcase. What's it say? It's been worn down. I can't read it. That doesn't even rhyme! There's some poetry inscribed on this coffin. My dark mistress longs for death to return to her velvet sepulcher. Her only passion, the void's embrace, or else she'd reply to my letters. That's poetry? I didn't say it was good poetry. Ready to drop some fat beats or something? Nah, I'm okay. I went before we left. Embrace. Torment. Letters. Abyss. Misery. Blood. Death. Razors. Succubus. Pain. Sepulcher. Sub-Zero. Desire. Pure energy. Parents. Death. Death. Sepulcher. Embrace. Letters. Look, Max. Jeez, Sam, I saw it open. I'm not an idiot. I can't see a thing. Your hand? Oops, sorry, little buddy. <laughs> Find the swinging razor sharp pendulum. What razor sharp? Ow! That wasn't here before. Oh, so Jurgen's the only one who's allowed to redecorate? And my latest dance is called The Inconsolable Nephilim. Check it! Ah! Oh, 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 it burns! Oh, lady! It's okay, no problem, they're still cool. <laughs> Not so cool now, are you, Master Jurgen? It is but a minor setback. My zombies still know who is the master of style, am I right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jorgen. Meow. Yeah. Where is the source of your power exactly? Just curious. Yeah, we just want to look at it. Americans! The source of my power is not something you can buy and own. It is my style! The zombies love me because of my rhymes, my moves, my staying always on top of the latest trance. A style is the only thing that is truly immortal, apart from vampires, which I am also. So, you're big fans of Midtown Cowboys over here? Yeah, it's Deutschland's most popular program. All the young people in the gymnasium wear the t-shirt which read, You probably hide the cow. <laughs> Her family's world is eternal confusion and pain. I appreciate the show on another level, of course, which is why the zombies love me. New location unlocked. What was that? You haven't heard the newest club hit, New Location Unlocked? Oh, you are so tragically unhip. We'll leave you alone. 
for now. Count the hours, Jurgen. Count the hours until you're doom. Just yeah, sure. Remember, there's a two drink minimum. Why do they always have bottles of water at raves? Because of all the drugs, Sam. Then we better take one. There's a pack of clove cigarettes in here. Clove cigarettes? Gilroyal's brand garlic clove cigarettes. For that extra stink of sophistication. We're not leaving, are we? Let's go to the WARP studios. Oh boy! Finally, you're here. Let's get this started. A very special Midtown Cowboys. Scene four, take one in five, four... Hang on. Ah, I can't work like this. Actors. Oh, fine. Take five, everyone. Just come talk to me when you're ready. Look, Max. It's our old co-star, Philo Pennyworth. Featherly. The name is Featherly. I thought you didn't like us calling you by your character name. Are you method acting or something? Hardly. I've legally changed my name to Mr. Featherly. Philo Featherly? No, Mr. Featherly. It simplifies the licensing contracts considerably. What happened to your love of the theater? Hmm, let me see. I could play Torvald in a doll's house two shows a night for an entire year! And still not make as many euros as I get from licensing a single poster of my beak. Not my face, just the beak. Did you know you're really popular in Germany? Did I know? It changed my life! That ill-conceived dalliance in prismatology left me penniless. You should have thought about a nest egg. When I was poor, I would have taken offense at that. Now I say ha. 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 Do you have any crazy fans? A Miss Greta Grunwald of Cologne. She insists on sending me scandalous photos of herself with messages about how she enjoys dark meat. Ugh. Oh, Greta! Oh, she keeps sending me messages about Hassenpfeffer. Are you ready for a new season of Midtown Cowboys? I've been ready for several months, but the director insisted that you two appear for some unfathomable reason. Didn't you receive her phone calls? Well, we have been busy. Becoming president, saving the world, deleting random messages from the answering machine. Break a leg. Or worse! Hello, Bessie. Still not speaking to me? I see. What's going on here, exactly? Oh, nothing special. Just the biggest episode of Germany's top-rated television show, that's all. Schnitzel time mit Regis und Katharina Lee? Not anymore. Didn't you get my phone messages? Midtown Cowboys is a surprise hit in Germany! What's the episode about? It's the climactic Mr. Featherly's intervention episode! Sounds hilarious! This is no laughing matter. This is quite possibly the most important episode of television ever made. It's good to see the television industry tackling important social issues like addiction. Right. Social issues. Whatever. I'm talking about product placement. This is going to be pure gold. <laughs> We're ready to start filming. It's about time! All right, people. Places, everyone. Let's make some money! Art! Let's make some art! Tonight, a very special episode of Midtown Cowboys.
Can't we just ignore the problem and hope it will go away? Mr. Featherly needs our help, pal. Oh, there he is now. I must have left my bag in here. <gasps> I knew it. I knew you were hiding a cow. That's right, Mr. Featherly. We have been hiding a cow. But you've been hiding something much worse. What? I don't know what you're talking about. For the love of God, Mr. Featherly, stop with the lies. Just look what you're doing to Bessie. <laughs> we saw what's inside your bag. How do you explain this? Gil Royals brand garlic clove cigarettes? Admit you have a problem. Uh, all right, I admit it. I am addicted. But how could anyone resist a, a lung full of garlic flavored smoke? <laughs> they taste good, man, they're good for you. What a heart smart smoking choice. And they make you look so cool. Let's buy some. <laughs> wow. Sounds like Bessie wants her own pack of Gil Royals brand garlic clove cigarettes. And that's a wrap! See that, boys? That is acting. Are we leaving already? Let's go back to the office. Headed, Sam. Let's go to Stuttgart. Drink up, pal. like righteousness. Nah, I want to save this after Max went to all that trouble sanctifying it. Mmm, yeah, zombie guys. I'm so down with the smoking, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the master now, Master Jorgen? Your attempts to discredit me will not work. My Z-Boys still got my back. What happened? I feel the original sin again. The holy water wore off. Did you make a no-no while I wasn't looking? No, honest, Sam. It just wore off. There's a bottle of holy water in here. Mm -mm -mm. Holy! It was the first season of Midtown Cowboys was so much better. Mm. Yeah. Hey, Jorgen. Meow. 
you know, for a master of style, you don't seem all that great. Yeah, you're just kind of dated and mopey. I don't get the thrall. Well, my zombies know how late it is. I speak to the bleakness of our existence. Winner of MTV Bavaria's most doleful lyrics competition for 270 years running. You've got a castle and a zombie army! What have you got to be down about? Yeah, we're at least twice as miserable as you are. Would you like to prove it? How do we do that? Every night is open mic night at the zombie factory. You may try your pitiful best to win over my audience, and then I will assault them with my freestyle melancholy, and they will continue to be in my thrall. How do we know you won't cheat? I never cheat. Yes, some of my rivals have been found with the blood drained from their bodies, but this is mere coincidence. Oh, it's on. Oh, very well, but I always emerge victorious. I gather one could say, it's in my blood. <laughs> He's doing it again, Sam, being all Euro-freaky. Don't let him psych you out, little buddy. Let's show him how the real goths do it. What's with the banjo? I'm going for Southern Gothic. My name is, um... Count Cryptwind Deathgrasp. And I'm... Uh... Baron Bat Anguish Von Nightmare! And we're gonna kick it out awkward style, yo! We're the Freelance Grave Robbers and we're ready to go, see? We'll knock you out deader than Bella Lugosi! We got more rhymes than you can beg, steal, or borrow! Our world is endless, torment and sorrow. Despair! You bloodsucker MCs best get out of our way. Cause all creation ends in death and decay. Entropy, G. Weep, children of the night. <laughs> what? You have managed to impress my brainless zombies. No matter. I will still defeat you most easily. But first, an energy drink. Hey, no fair! Ah, to taste the blood of one who believes he has beaten me. <laughs> it is energizing, intoxicating. Drag me to hell with scarred arms. Uh oh, pain down below. Very soon, need release. Excuse a moment. Can't hold your holy water, Jurgen. You dare defile my... Oh, wait, hold on. That was gruesome! Mm. Oh, that is the very last of the straws! I don't care. I did not become the Prince of Darkness just to make the friends, you know? I will destroy you, Samund Max! Even without the stupid zombies! Who needs them, anyway? Zombie pile on you again! Oh. Save some of the entrails for me, guys! We're not through yet, pal. After him! I don't care if those dumb zombies like me anyway. Just so stupid. Stand back, foul creature. We come to cast you back into the unholy pit from whence you were spawned. What he said? Oh, heard it. I should have disposed of you irritants long ago. Now, <laughs> your two souls will fulfill my unholy contract, and I will make the entire Earth my non-stop house party of evil. And then there was the most epic battle of our entire career. Yeah, yeah, I remember the rest. So, what do we do now? Auf Wiedersehen, Scham und Max! <laughs> Gee, I got so wrapped up in the story, I forgot to think of a plan. We could make... Well, that was unpleasant. That 
jerk Jorgen got my suit all dirty. I'd like to give him a piece of my mind. Or take a piece of his! Mmm, jerk Jorgen. That does sound tasty. We suffering serpent and the rainbow, Max! We've turned to zombies! Why are we standing like this, Sam? Oh, I thought you knew. Zombie Abraham Lincoln? What are you doing here? I... I don't know. This doesn't look like the theater. Something different about you. Hmm. You're not wearing your hat! And he's got a body, and he's not 20 feet tall, and he's just come out of a grave. This isn't our Lincoln, little buddy. Do I know you? We're Sam and Max, freelance police. Never heard of you. How did you end up in Germany? Germany? I've never been. Apart from my family's cemetery plot just outside Stuttgart, I have absolutely no ties to Germany whatsoever. Watch your back. What? Why? Where was I sitting? Excuse me. Eat bullets, Chuck! Hey! Ow! I guess you have to be a zombie to appreciate how good Flint is at killing him. The man's a consummate professional. Alright, which one of you undead creeps is gonna tell me where you got Sam and Max? Oh, great. They're back. Keep quiet and stand still. Maybe they won't notice us. Hey, look, Max. It's vaguely ethereal versions of ourselves. Are they ghosts? No, probably just those soul things we keep hearing about. Well, what do you know? I do have one! Come to Papa! Yeah, I don't think so. Right. You guys run along and play. We'll be over here until our ride comes. Looks like a delicate piece of high-precision medical equipment. Alchemy for beginners. Jorgen made it up to chapter 14, turning chocolate to gold. Oh, but build me a machine that turns gold nuggets to chicken nuggets, and we shall have power unlimited! Looks like a painting of Jorgen in the club when he was younger. Looks like a painting of Jorgen in the club when he was younger. Abyss. Razors. Pain. Parents. Look, Sam! I did not expect that thing over there to open. Why is the floor so sticky? There's not a single possible answer to that question that I like. Came from behind. Let's go, little buddy. Eh, Flint tastes like cigarettes and cheap scotch. I don't think he's my hero anymore. You're only saying that because you don't have a soul, Max. Let's hurry and get it back. I don't like myself like this. away, Max. This is the kind of vandalism that turns your stomach. 
Nonsense! I embrace all kinds of vandalism! Are zombies allowed to drive cars? I don't see why not. My license is just as expired now as it was when we were alive. Yeah, let's head back home. Come back here, you stupid hand! Shoot! Darn it, he's too fast. Better not. Don't just groan and point. Do something! Zombie Sam and Zombie Max, my heroes. Taunt nothing, ma'am. What? <laughs> oh, never mind. I'll take that, Mr. James. Guys. Yeah, whatever. So, I think I've narrowed it down to two guys. But I'm still not quite sure. You didn't meet any cool guys out there, did you? Maybe I am being picky, Sam. I just don't want to keep making the same mistakes with men. Yeah. I know, Sam. I'll use it once I've narrowed it down to one finalist. No! Please! I need that! Yeah. What are they doing? Make them stop! We headed, Sam. Let's go to Stuttgart. What's going on here? Oh, you're the Americans, right? Thanks for the brain, guy. Hey, Max. We can understand the zombies now. Mmm, it was as good as my Nana's homemade Kimmelspanner schnitzen. I think understand is a bit extreme, Sam. So long. Catching you later on the flip side, zombie brother. like Jorgen was building himself a playmate. Rooting is more fun when you do it with a pal.
It is at times like these when a monster is driven to consider his place in history. Are we not all but misshapen combinations of flesh and feelings, bodies and souls? Yeah, okay, we get it. Oh no, I've overslept. I'm late, I'm late. And dangerous! The best kind of neat! I bet that gave it enough juice. Bringing life to this decaying lump of flesh, we mock death! We become as gods, rewriting the very laws of the universe! Mm. It lives! Our creation lives! Happy birthday! He's almost a birthday? Ole! Well... Kinda suck the horror right out of it, huh? Hi, Gruesome. You're not Master Jürgen. Who are you? We're from the Church of Prismatology, offering a completely free session to test your bliss level with our patented blissometers. Well, it's not very blissful in this dungeon. Leave the science to the professionals, pal. Now bend over. We're just kidding. We're your creators. Master Jürgen is my creator. Well, we pulled the switch. Yes, and I wish you hadn't. The sleep of unlife was preferable to the bitter pang of loneliness. Why so glum, chum? Do you have any idea what it's like being a misshapen freak? The only one of your kind? Nope! Uh-uh. It sucks! No one to confide in. No one to love. Mm, no one to smack you and tell you to get over yourself already? You're in luck, buddy. We've got the perfect bride for you. Master Jürgen promised the same thing. Long ago. But ours is ready to go, right out of the box! No assembly required! Sounds... intriguing. Let's go meet our friend Sybil. It's a frightfully long drive, isn't it? Are you sure you want to go now? Yes, let's go right now. Quickly, before Sam gets distracted and... Oh, more switches! Well, I never travel without my belongings. Just throw them in the trunk already. We're wasting daylight. Thanks for coming, gentlemen. I know it's difficult for you to travel, having to carry all your stuff with you. I'm used to it. Well, until I figure out how the Soul Mater works, I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. I'll ask each of you three lucky bachelors a series of questions. Based on your answers, I'll decide which one of you advances to the final round of being my boyfriend. Ah, zombies! I knew it! They've come for the knickknacks! Harry, please. I'll have to ask you to leave if you don't learn to show some tolerance. Yay! They're going to break everything! And eat my brain! Nonsense! Sam and Max have just as much right to be here as anyone alive. Hmm, which question should I ask first? Oh, good call, Sam. I'll ask this one. Bachelor number one. The only thing I liked about my last boyfriend was that he had a way with words. He always just knew the right thing to say. What would you say to me in a romantic moment? Would we be lounging by a fireplace? Because uh, I don't like fire. I'll make a note of that. Same question, Bachelor number two. I would quote from my award-winning one-act play, The Cloaca Monologues, to wit. Oh, no, that's quite all right. And Bachelor number three. What would you say to me in a romantic moment? Hmm. Most romantic thing to say. Keep your hands away from that, you filthy, disgusting creature! What?! I expected better from you, Harry. But I wasn't talking about you! The 
the zombies! Her anti-zombie talk isn't making things any better. I think you'd better go. Thank you for filling in on such short notice, Agent... A super ball, was it? My pleasure. You're looking radiant. So we... Let's head back to Stuttgart. Please don't make me get back into the trunk. Are you sure? Yeah, I miss the dungeon. I don't want to be sweethearts with that. Seems like a waste of good chocolate. Get me my checkbook quick! I need to give to charity! Hi, Gruesome. Let's go to Sybil's again. It seems we just got here. Are you sure? Yes, let's go right now. Okay, bachelor number one. I'm looking for a man with a heart of gold. How would you prove you've got one? What's that? I'm terribly sorry. I was distracted. See, I used your restroom earlier, and I'm worried I might not have remembered to leave the seat down. Could you repeat the question? Hmm. I think I've heard enough. All right. Bachelor number one. I'm still looking for a man who's good with his hands. How good are you with yours? What are you doing? It's the only way I know how to express my feelings, ma'am. Oh! Oh! Oh my! Okay, bachelor number one. My last boyfriend always knew the right thing to say. What sweet things would you say to me during a romantic moment? Well, it is altogether fitting and proper that I answer your question. But in a larger sense, our love would be so pure, so harmonious, so rapturous, that my mere words could do little to add or detract. Miss Pandemic? Marry me? Oh, I mean, yes, Bachelor One. That's perfectly adequate. <clears throat> well, I think the choice is clear. Bachelor Number One. Would you like to go steady? At last, I feel complete. Preposterous. Please, no cameras. I need a moment. After years of searching, I've finally found the perfect man. <laughs> what? Oh, of course you're right, Max. This has all been a lie. <laughs> In my heart, I've always known who my true soulmate is. I just never wanted to admit it. What? I've been so stubborn and foolish. I only hope he'll take me back. Thanks a lot, jerks. <laughs> I suppose the weekend in Cabo San Lucas is out of the question as well. I guess Sybil won't be needing this anymore.
are we headed, Sam? Let's go to Stuttgart. out how that thing works, Sam? There must be a button, or a switch. The hell? What gives? I guess there's no switch. I wouldn't say that. Did anybody get tall and chubby all of a sudden? Hey, give my stuff back. Ah, so there's where you keep your gun. Ugh! Sam and Max, you keep returning when you know you cannot defeat me. That's Max and Sam. No matter, I will take your souls once again, but this time your bodies will be obliterated. <laughs> what? Obliterated. You know, cut off your heads, set them on fire, salt the earth. Oh, nothing doing. You're gonna regret you ever tangled with me and Max. I mean, Sam. As your Americans say, not all. -uh. I bet those candy-ass vampire hunters just didn't know how to do it right. Oh, please! Too slow! Hey, monster, think fast. Well, this is a step up, at least. It's too crowded in here. Oh, no. Hope you got the point. You suck, Jurgen! Hey, my line was better. But I cannot be defeated. I am the Prince of Darkness! Take this, me. We'll need it for... Get a mouthful of ammo! Hey, Sammy, you're back. Just in time, too. What's up, Flint? You know, I've been tailing that Bosco mug, right? Well, the trail's gone colder than a Dear John letter written on no-tell motel stationery. Bosco's just loud and easily startled. We'll help you dig him up. That's the rub, see? Bosco's vanished off the face of the Earth!
Ladies and gentlemen of the press, the President of the United States.